Coming up, I'm going to show you how to make my very favourite treats to eat on the bike that are going to keep you well fueled for those long rides. This is GCN Does Bacon. Mm. Not fueling properly can lead to the dreaded bonk, where your body just completely runs out of energy and you will eat anything in sight to get that energy back into your body. We want to avoid this at all costs and fueling your body is an easy way to do that and it's going to have a massive impact on your performance. We all use pre-packaged bars and energy gels like these ones from Enovit and they're great, we highly recommend them. They are specifically made for cycling. But if you are riding long distances or long races or long training rides, it's good to have a balance of real foods too. And a simple way to do so is by making your very own riding food at home. And it doesn't have to take hours of slaving away in the kitchen. And you're actually going to make food you're going to enjoy eating on the bike. Plus, you're going to make your riding buddies very jealous when you pull out all those delicious homemade snacks. So today I'm going to be making a variety of different snacks for you to take out on your bike. But remember, these recipes are super adaptable. So if you don't like a certain thing, swap it for something you do like. It's also important to remember the longer you ride, the more you're going to need to eat. So make sure if you're heading out on a long ride, you jam those back pockets full of tasty treats. You want to look to consume half a gram to a gram of carbohydrates per kilogram of body weight per hour. But this really does depend on the length that you're riding and the intensity. The most important thing about making your own ride food is to make sure you put things that you enjoy eating in them. It's pointless putting things that aren't going to agree with your stomach or you just aren't going to enjoy eating. You want to look forward to reaching into that back pocket and pulling out that tasty bar. So today I'm going to be making three of my favourite snacks to eat on the bike and we're going to start off with some energy balls. Now these are great because once you have the base, which is basically the dates and the oats and the syrup, you can put whatever you want. So I've got some of my favourite toppings here, but you can choose whatever you like. Right, let's get started. These are the ingredients you're going to need for the energy balls. The base of the energy balls are 250 grams of dates. 100 grams of porridge oats and around 50 grams of agave nectar and after that you can pretty much fill your energy balls with whatever you want i've got some chai seeds some desiccated coconut some dried fruit some nuts and some cacao nibs you're also going to need a pretty handy food processor or blender because the dates can be pretty tricky to blend so we're going to start off with blending our 250 grams of dates so pop them in the blender. Moment of truth, if this will blend. The next thing to do is blend our 100 grams of oats. And there's our oats blended. So the next thing we want to do is add the oats, the dates and the agave nectar into the food processor and blend all that together. Now, if you haven't got agave nectar, you can use maple syrup or honey. They both work well in this mixture too. So once you've got your oats, your dates and your syrup all blended, it should be a very nice sticky texture. I'm then going to add some of my chosen ingredients. So I'm going to put a few chai seeds in little sprinkle um, desiccated coconut I'm a big fan of coconut so I'm gonna put that in I'm not gonna use it all because I'm actually gonna use this to coat the balls in after which is very nice um, and I'm gonna use some of the cacao nibs I think that's how you say it cacao nibs I'm gonna go with that anyway and then you want to blend that all together one more time once all of your ingredients are blended up together you want to take it out of your blender or your food processor and empty it out into a bowl or a container and it should be looking a little bit like this now you could leave it like this and just have one massive snack or you could make them into bite-sized little ride snacks that are gonna fit in your pocket nicely so you want to take around a teaspoon of the mixture and make it into a nice tight ball nice and compact so it's not going to fall apart 
And then this bit is optional, but you can coat the outside of the bowl with whatever you want. So I'm going to use desiccated coconut and some cacao nibs because these are my two favourites. My energy balls. I mean, I think they do look pretty good if I do say so myself. So my first recipe was a no-bake recipe. We didn't have to put it in the oven and bake anything. But this next one is, so I cannot take credit for this recipe. It has come from the GCN plant-based cyclist book and it is one of my favorite recipes in here. And it is the flapjacks. I, I don't know any cyclist that doesn't like flapjack. It's my go-to. Um, so these are a little bit healthier than a traditional flapjack that is made with a lot of golden syrup and a lot of sugar and all that nice stuff but we have tried to make some healthy changes to it to still make it delicious and ideal for eating on the bike. So for this recipe you are going to need 150 grams of coconut oil, 90 grams of agave nectar, 90 grams of brown sugar, 170 grams of oats, 75 grams of mixed nuts, 75 grams of mixed fruit, and one banana peeled and mashed with a fork. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is turn my oven on to a medium heat, around 150, 160. First plan of action is to get yourself a saucepan, and in there you wanna chuck the coconut oil, the syrup, and the sugar. Make sure you measure it all out though. So once you've measured all your ingredients and chucked them in the saucepan, you want to put them on a medium to low heat until they've all combined and melted together. Now our next step is very simple and it is to mash the banana with a fork. Now, preferably I would have liked a banana that was a little bit older, a little bit more mature, but um, this is the best I've got, but it is gonna work fine. That is how you mash a banana. So now that we've got our coconut oil, our sugar and our syrup all nicely melted, it's now time to basically combine all the other ingredients together. So you wanna get your oats, your chopped nuts, your dried fruit and your mashed banana. Very appetizing, this mashed banana. You want to get your syrupy goodness and tip it into the dry mixture. And then, very simple, you want to combine all of your ingredients. Once you have combined all of your ingredients, this next step is very, very important. Do not miss this step. Before you put it in to your dish to bake, you wanna do a quick taste test. Mm. That's so good. I mean, I could eat a lot of that without baking it, but it is gonna be even nicer once I've baked it. So go ahead and pop it into your oven push dish or baking dish without making a mess. Lovely. Give it a nice little tap down, smooth it out. Then once you've got it all in your dish, you want to go ahead and put it in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on the top. <clears throat> Whilst your flapjacks are baking, it is unfortunately the time for the worst part about baking, the clearing up and the washing up. <laughs> I could just not do it and get a cup of tea and just relax for a minute. It's quite hard work baking. One tip I would give for cyclists, when I was a professional cyclist and I was um, very keen, I used to bake sitting down. So I'd get a chair and put, put a chair by here and bake sitting down. Saves the legs. Top tip, bake sitting down, always. Mmm, delicious. We are now on to the final recipe of the day, and this is actually my very own recipe. I'm not quite sure I can call it my own recipe because it's 
definitely not a Michelin star snack or recipe standard. So it is something I accidentally made up one day when I had a long ride and I had a rummage in my cupboards and I didn't have any ride food. So I had a look what I had and just mashed something up together. It was one hell of a concoction, but it got me around the ride and it worked. So if you are having one of those days where you're short of time and you just need to quickly make some ride food, this is the recipe for you. So I can't exactly give you the exact measurements because it is made up, but it is roughly one cup of oats, a few tablespoons of honey, some peanut butter. Now this is optional, you could use jam, you could use Nutella. I did go through the Nutella phase, but I had to ban myself from Nutella because my Nutella addiction was getting a bit much. I actually, this was my latest tub of Nutella. Um, and I polished that off in a month. Not bad going, but Nutella is banned in my life for now. It will make a comeback. Um, one mashed banana and some chopped nuts and cacao nibs to give it a little bit of texture. So we're basically gonna mix all of these ingredients together and then we'll make them into some ride food. If you wanna mash your banana with a fork, add it to the oats with the honey and the peanut butter. Um, then you want to add your one cup of oats to the mashed banana. You want to add around one to two tablespoons of honey, depending how sweet you like it. So our next step is to add the crunchy peanut butter. Now this is optional. I can't say this looks very appetizing at the minute, I have to agree with you on that one, but I'm sure it's all going to come together nicely. Then you want to add your little nuts and little chocolatey bits and give that another mix together. Important to do another taste test. So once you have combined all your ingredients together, it's gonna to look a little bit like this. And I know it doesn't look very appetizing at the minute, but now we're gonna make them into little balls like we did earlier, or you can make it into any shape you want, really. So there we have it. There's my accidentally made up recipe. And I'm gonna say I made that in less than 10 minutes. So if you are short on time and you've got a big ride to do, make these, because they'll get you around the ride. So there we have it, three of my favourite things to keep me going whilst I'm out on my bike. We've got the delicious nutritious energy balls, the all-time favourite flapjacks and the emergency ride food. If you did enjoy this video then make sure to give it a big thumbs up and whilst you're down there why don't you let me know in the comment section below what your favourite thing to eat on the bike is.